Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hallelujah. 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 Everyone's full of faith, full yes. of love, full yes. of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Full of victory. Amen. Full Amen. of victory. If you got Jesus, you got victory. Yes. Amen. 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 We're going to do some more looking at faith this, yes, this week. Uh, and we've had a pretty faith filled service already with y'all. Amen. Amen. But uh, I've been studying for this stuff. And, you know, inevitably, God, when you start studying stuff, He starts opening up things that you haven't seen before. That's right. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to say a few things. And, and Pastor Tony is the official timekeeper. 30 minutes, brother, you're big enough to come make a stop. Amen. Because <laughs> you get started on this stuff, you don't want to quit. Amen. And it's good. But uh, we, uh, I made a statement a couple of weeks ago that, that if it's not now, or if it's not now, it's not faith. That's and I right. To Amen. Quote the scripture, or y'all can go to it. It's Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. It says, Now faith is the <clears throat> substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And uh, we need to know that if it's when you receive faith or when you receive something from God, you receive it now. It don't make no difference what it looks like. That's right. Amen. It's now. Faith is now. It means now. Yes. Amen. Amen. And uh, I know there's a lot of people in a lot of areas and I'm talking about faith, the principles of faith, and all that. But faith works in every area of our life exactly the same way. Every area. Amen. Receiving the Holy Spirit, getting saved, uh, your finances, your health, everything works exactly the same way by faith. Amen. Amen. Everything. And, uh, and God really impressed on me this past week because of the time that we live in. Because of the time that we live in. Yes. It is imperative yes. that we walk in faith. We, we started with that. You have to believe God. Yes. You have to believe God. Yes. Amen. It's not optional. And uh, because you'll be destroyed if you don't, folks. I didn't say you wasn't going to heaven. I say you will be destroyed if you don't. And we're not supposed to be destroyed. We're going to stay here until Jesus comes back and we're going to walk in victory and get people brought into the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 But we're going to understand faith and know what faith is. Amen. Amen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It works in every area of life. Turn to Luke chapter 17. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus and we thank you for your word. Thank we you. thank you for that for everyone that is here today, Father. And the words that I speak bring light and life to those who hear it. They can take hold of them, participate in them, and watch your glory. And I thank you for that, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah, Pastor Darrell, can I read one scripture before you get to that? Yes, sir. To undergird what he just said by the Holy Spirit. John 16, 33. Jesus is talking to us. He says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have, not might have, in the world and its system, you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God doesn't want you beat up, destroyed, overcome. That's right. This world's going to get beat up, destroyed, and overcome. But in the middle of it, we walk in victory and peace. Amen. Amen. By faith. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And I'm telling you, this prayer time. And what God's been showing me this week and, and studying this stuff, it just, I mean, faith has just been poured out. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You understand? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there's a problem with faith. There's not a problem with faith. There's a problem with us. Yes. Amen. Faith works. Amen. Always works. Amen. Always works. Uh, and we're going to look at, I hope I get to, if we don't, we'll do it two weeks from now. Yeah, we've got some more. we got to the rapture. But I want to show you something in Luke chapter 17. And uh, amen, amen. I want to start in verse 1. I guess I'll just start right there. Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come. Amen. Yes. Offenses are coming. Persecution's coming. Yes. But woe to him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck 
and he cast and he cast into the sea then that he should offend one of these little ones talking about children amen he says take heed to yourself he, jesus is talking to his disciples he said take heed to yourself and this was talked about in prayer time <coughs> if thy brother trespass against thee rebuke him yes and if he repent forgive him amen and if he trespass against thee Seven times in a day, and seven times in a day, turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Amen. 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 Do any of us have a hard time forgiving somebody sometimes? Amen. I'm just asking. Amen. It's a common problem. I mean, it is for forgiveness. And these guys here are the same way. I mean, when you get beat up enough, you get tired of it and want to beat back. Yeah, you get all defensive and stuff. Amen. Amen. Now watch what they say in verse 5. Hallelujah. And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes. We got to operate by faith. You walk in forgiveness by faith. Yes. They just And he just told them if a man sins against you seven times and repents, you forgive him. Amen. 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 Now what did they just do? They ask him to increase their faith. That's right. Amen? Amen. Wow. That's good stuff. Amen? Amen. Now, I'm to show you something you may have never seen before. But he, he asked them, increase our faith. And watch what Jesus says. And the Lord said, If ye had faith, as a grain of mustard seed. Ye might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. How much faith does it take to jerk a tree up on the ground and cast it into the sea? Well, that's a lot. Into the kingdom of God. It says, If you have faith as a mustard seed. Wow. God help. It says, if you have faith as a mustard seed. Y'all know how small a mustard seed is? If I held this mustard seed in between my fingers right there, you could not see it. So the problem is not the amount of faith. Hello. Amen? Amen. Amen. It doesn't take, I mean, the faith of a, the size of a mustard seed. And we, as what we've been taught, because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, and I do not disagree with that one bit. Because faith comes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Always comes. Yes. <coughs> Boy, I'm listening. It always comes. But the problem is, is we're always trying to get more faith. And you don't need more faith. You need to use the faith you have. Amen. 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 You don't need more faith. You don't need larger faith. You need the faith of God. You're busy with what we've already with what done. you've got. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You realize that's how you got saved? Yes. Yes. Did you have any faith when you got saved? Just enough. <laughs> Watch how it works. God's words are filled full of faith. Yes. Every word he speaks is full of faith. He speaks faith words. Yes. When somebody preached to you about Jesus Christ, you received it in your heart. When you received that word in your heart, the faith that God stuck in you give you the ability to confess it. Get up and go to the altar. That's right. God's faith in you is what caused it to come to pass. It wasn't your good idea. Amen. Amen. That's the way faith works. Amen. 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 Okay, so what's the problem? Hallelujah. Let's read down here. Yes, yes. Verse 7. But which of you, having a servant plowing or feeding cattle, will say unto him by and by when he comes from the field, go and sit down to me? And will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself, and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterwards thou shalt eat and drink. Faith is a servant. It is meant to be. It is 
a servant. Yes. You release faith and do not let it stop working until you're satisfied. Amen. 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 Do you understand? Amen. Amen. It is a servant to you. Hallelujah. We don't, this slave thing, people don't, back then they had slaves, they understood it. We get all been out of shape and talking about, talking about slavery. But I'm going to tell you something. When God gets something for you to serve you, you work it. And I'm going to tell you something. If you'll learn to let the faith work, keep it working, you don't have to work for anything. Amen. Amen. Say that again, Pastor. If you will keep your faith out there working, you don't have to work. Amen. For anything. Amen. Because it's God's faith, it's faith-filled words. You're taking God's word and working it. When I was talking about it, it went off in me like a big light. I want to read verse 10 real quick. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants, we have done that which is our duty to do. We're servants, are we not? Yes, God. yes. That's going to come out too. Amen? Amen. If, okay. And when God showed me this, he said, he said, Daryl, who created faith? Who created the concept of faith? I said, well, you did, Lord. He said, why? Or I said, why? He said, to serve me. He said, I created faith to serve me. And I give the same faith that I have to you to serve you so you can serve me. Amen. 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 Yes. He gave his faith to me to serve me so I can serve him. <coughs> Praise God. Amen. And establish Amen. his kingdom. And establish his kingdom. Wow. Amen. Amen. But we don't use our faith. To start with, we don't know we got it. We're always trying to get it. Yes. Amen. And he said, I'm giving it to you. When I speak words to you, you receive those words and start acting on those words. Release the faith and don't let it stop until you get what you want. Amen. 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 Your desire. And I guarantee you, both in the body of Christ, most people, and there's nothing wrong with it, particularly in, in, unless it becomes your only goal, is about money. Hello. And it says right here that we're servants of God. You made mention of the fact a while ago. Like, Pastor Darlene is serving God, praying for her. Yeah, yes. And she's praying in faith, wanting to know so she can pray in faith that it affects you. And keep it working. And keep it working. Amen. And you don't let it go. Amen. Do we you see don't let it go. You make it work until you're satisfied. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn over to uh, Romans chapter 4. I want to show you something. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Look Thank here. You, Jesus. We talk about seed faith, little faith, great faith. Yes. No faith. Absolutely. But right here it's talking, the size has nothing to do with it. Teach, brother. Size has absolutely nothing to do with it. At, uh, Romans chapter 4. I want to look in verse. Well, I'm going to start verse 19. It's, it's talking about Abraham. Amen? Yes. Verse 19. And it said, And being not weak in faith, Hello. he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Right there it says, And being not weak in faith. It didn't say the faith was weak. It said, he was not weak in his faith. Amen. Is that, do you understand that? Yes. It doesn't say the faith's weak. But he was not weak in it. Amen. Say that again. That, that needs to be real clear. Amen. The faith, there's nothing wrong with the faith. He was not weak in the faith that he had. Amen. He knew how to use it. He knew how to use it. He knew how to operate it. He knew how to make it serve him. Amen. 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 We start thinking about, well, I don't want to be that bad on anybody. I don't, I don't want to be a, sl a slave master. I do when it comes to that. 
Because my life and your life is in there. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, watch. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet deadness of Sarah's womb. What would have made, he said he was not weak in faith because he did not consider the natural circumstances. Amen. 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 He did not consider his age or the deadness of Sarah's womb. He did only consider what God said. And what God said put faith in him to believe it. And override what he saw. And override what he saw. Mm -hmm. In our natural circumstances. Mm -hmm. And that's how people shut their faith down. They stop it from working because if they don't see it working right now, it must have not have worked. Yeah. Amen. 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 Now faith is the substance. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. When you get God's word on something, you can believe it and walk in it. Yeah, yeah. Whether you feel like it, look like it, or anybody thinks you are. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But you've got to keep it out there. Yeah. <coughs> and you don't got, stagger or bounce back and forth you, based on what it looks like around you. No, sir. You've got to be fixed on it. Amen. you got to be fixed on it. Amen. 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 You don't stagger at it. But it says, and being not weak, now watch this. He staggered <coughs> not at the promise of God through unbelief. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. What brings unbelief? Natural circumstances. Yes. Right. But was strong. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Giving glory to God. Amen. I'm healed. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Evidence of faith is praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't that good? Yes. And it's God's faith. It's God's word. Yes. It's God's spirit. Amen. And you are a container of God's word and God's faith, Amen. and you're supposed to release it and keep it working, serving Him. Amen. Amen. And you will be served in it because humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. The purest form of humility to God is to believe His Word. Amen. Say that again. The purest form of humility to God is to believe His Word. Amen. 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 If the Bible says, by His stripes I am healed, bless God, I am healed. That's right. A humble man doesn't say, yeah, but. That's exactly right. It don't make no difference what it looks like, folks. Amen. And, and Listen to me. We all grew up in this world. We all grew up in this world. Thank you, Jesus. And we have been trained very well by this world. But praise God, we don't have to stay that way. Amen. 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 Because it's His faith. Yes. It's His Word. Amen. It's His Spirit. And that was going on during prayer. All that stuff we just. You was reading right out of the Bible yes. what we are in Christ Jesus. Yes. And God's yes. word was yes. just yes. being pumped into us. Yes. And yes. faith yes. should have been built up on the inside yes. of you. And you should have got up and run and jumped and hollered and screamed. Praise God! Amen. We walk in victory. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yes, we do. I'm on I don't yes, need to do. be preaching, folks. But that, I believe preach it. it you we can't need. get, <laughs> how do you not get stirred up when you know it's not you? Amen. It's Him in you. Yes. Amen. You can't work hard enough to get faith. Yes. Amen. You can't study enough to get faith. That's right. Amen. 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 Now let me say this to you. Pastor Tony read it. Read when he was reading those scriptures about who we are in Christ. We have the capacity to believe God in us because the Bible actually says, I believe it is in the Romans uh, 12.3 that it says <clears throat> well let's just look over and read it yes please hallelujah Romans 12.3 it says Paul says for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among, <clears throat> among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly According as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. Period. Amen. Amen. And it says, it says in the start of the verse, For I say through the grace given to 
be to every man that is among you. He's talking to Christians. The world doesn't have this faith. Amen. Amen. Why? Because they don't believe God. They haven't received Jesus. They haven't received it. Amen? Amen. But we have the measure of faith. And let me share this with you. If it said a measure of faith, we could expect more. But it doesn't. It says the measure of faith. That's like Jesus being the Son of God. There is no other but Him. Amen. He is the High Priest. He is the King. <coughs> and this is the faith of the King. Amen. That is yeah. deposited yeah. in you. Yes, amen. 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 And we are told to just walk in it. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. amen. Yeah. How much time I got, brother? 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> can I is, can I expound on something real quick? Yes, sir. You said if we let faith work, we'll never have to work. That's exactly it's, right. It's, I just want to redefine it. Redefine it. Yes. In, in, one, in one quick thing, so that people don't get confused, because you do, if you don't work, you don't eat. Right. And if you don't work and take care of your family, you're worse than an infidel. That's not the kind of work you're talking about. If you let the, the if you let faith work, faith works. Then what you're doing is you're redeeming yourself from the curse in the garden. When man was cursed, God said, "By the sweat of your brow you will toil." So if you let faith work, you never have to toil another day in your life. Work doesn't become toil and dredge. It's just a, it's a ministry. You understand the difference? Amen. So you still go to work, but instead of toiling, you're ministering. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. And thank you for that, Pastor. And that when I when I said that, where I was at is you're not working with yourselves. That's exactly right. That's exactly. You're walking right. in what God has already provided. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. God's already provided it. He don't have to work to try to. Get That's it. right. You, you receive it by faith. You receive it by faith. And, but when you receive it by faith, then you got to release it by faith. Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Good teaching. Praise God. Amen. And it's not you doing the works. It is him in you. Amen. Amen. It's that servant doing it. Yes. Absolutely. Praise God. Turn over to Matthew chapter. Oh. I'm going to finish with this one just in more than two weeks. Matthew chapter 14. I'll show you. We saw that Abraham, Abraham was not weak in faith because he staggered by the promise of God. He was strong in faith because he let God's faith work. He believed it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's see. 14. I'm going to start verse 22. And, and this, Jesus had just preached a sermon. He fed 5,000 people and went up to them. And he sent his disciples to the other side of the sea. And he went up to a mountain to pray. Amen. 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 And straight away, Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship. In verse 22, and go, to, go before him to the other side. While he sent the multitudes away, and when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart from a part to pray. Pastor uh, Teresa has been talking about prayer. Yes. Pastor's been talking about prayer. Yes. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. The ship's out in there and the wind's blowing. Amen? Amen. And Jesus is praying. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. Now I want to share something. Stop right here just a minute. When Jesus, he got up there and prayed, the wind was blowing, the waves were tossing, and he comes walking on the water. He did not 
And he had been praying, and God told him to go to the other side. He did not consider the water. He did not consider the waves. He did not or, or the wind or any of that. He Amen. just started walking. Amen. Amen. You understand? He didn't consider any natural circumstances at all. He just started going where God told him to go. Amen. Isn't that good? Yes. Is he not our example? Yes. Pastor's been talking about sanctifying and consecrating a place to spend with God and pray. Enough that will get you there. Amen. Amen. Do y'all believe that? Yes. I mean, do you believe that? Yes. God just spoke it. And it, if God spoke it, there's enough word when he spoke to put a faith in you that you can do it. Amen. Amen. And when the disciples, verse 26, saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Amen? They, Amen. they saw a spirit, a ghost. They were scared. To watch. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, if it be you or be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Now he asked him a question. What's Jesus supposed to tell him? No, it's not me, stay in the boat. He kind of backed Jesus into a corner. He said, Lord, if that's you, bid me come, and I'll come. That's, that's true because one one place it says that Jesus was walking on the sea and with the intention walk, to pass by. by. Absolutely. That's good. But Peter says, he puts him in a veil. Well, Jesus is not going to lie to him. He says, come. Amen. 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 Watch this. Wow. Verse 28 says, And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. There was enough faith in that one word come that allowed him to walk on water. Hallelujah. And one word Praise come God. was enough faith put in him that he got out of that boat and walked on water. Amen. What do we believe? When a one word it causes you to walk on water. Why would we want a bunch of That's good. That's good. Because of that one belief. And if the seed, the faith the size of a mustard seed can cause you to jerk a tree up and throw it in the ocean and make it be painted there, why do we want to doubt that we don't have any? Or why do we doubt that we have any? That's good teaching. That's good teaching. Thank you. Amen? Amen. Because God gave it to you. And we refuse it. Because we look do the same thing that Peter did. Watch. But when he saw the wind monstrous, verse 30, he was afraid. And began in beginning to sink, he cried out. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. When he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink, he cried save him, saying, Lord, save me. When he started recognizing and look, the wind was blowing before he ever got out of the boat. There was a period of time from the time that Jesus said, come that he got out of the boat that he paid no attention to the wind. Amen. But when he saw the wind, and I'm not supposed to be able to walk on water. He began to sink. And what did Jesus say? O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? There's nothing wrong with his faith. O thou of little faith, as he would, he sucked his faith back into him because of circumstances. Amen. He shut the faith down. He stopped the faith from working because of what he saw. Instead of going ahead and going to Jesus. And he had sense enough to know that when he got in trouble, he could cry out to Jesus and Jesus would reach out and take him by the hand and 
and saved them. Amen? Amen. But until we learn to quit looking at circumstances and get in a place where we can pray and separate ourselves to God to where we know that we know your life will be up and down in the way yes, all the time. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. All the time. Now, son law and I was up to one Monday this morning talking about some of this stuff and other things in general. And y'all really need to understand this. I got two minutes. All right, went by an hour. <laughs> and y'all really stop thinking about it. And it's just me. It's what I've learned. It's who I am. I do not believe in any gray area. Everything is either black or white. There's nothing in the middle. Amen. 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 And I don't believe there's anything in the middle of God. God is God. He who He is. He says what He says, and He's not going to change. You never have to wonder about God. Amen. But most people live in a gray area. That's so true. Between black and white, and they live in a gray area where you, they never know what's right and what's wrong. They never settle into anything. And you go to the book of Revelation, talk about being either be hot or cold or but lukewarm. He said, I'll spit you out of my mouth. That's a person that lives in a gray area. You don't have to live in a gray area with God. Because his word says, and what he says, he means, and he'll keep it. Just like the prayer of Jabez. Amen. Amen. The man prayed to God and asked, and God granted. And he never, that's all you that's the only place in the Bible you'll find Jabez. Is in those two scriptures. Wow. God said you're healed. Walk in it. Amen. God says you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Don't be weak. Amen. But it's all got to be done by faith. That's good preaching. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It's all got to be done by faith. And faith is the substance of things hoped for, for, the evidence of things not seen. And if it's not now, it's not faith. Amen. 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 We'll do it again in a couple of weeks. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.